I joined this modded GTA city that emulates real life. This is my character, Karthik Manuel, an albino Indian man with a heart full of dreams. Our one goal is to find what's most important in life. Money. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh my god, bro. I spawn into my apartment that has less natural light than my uncle's basement, but also less duct tape and scented candles. I walk out into the sunshine and then attempt to get my truck out, but it's been repossessed due to unpaid bills. We have $73. Wow. Unfortunately, this guy says he'll give me a ride to work in his mum's station wagon. So what's the uh, what's in the luggage up top? Got like my clothes, a couple like knickknacks I need to put up back in the crib. Sick man, just some like worn panties you bought off OnlyFans girls or? Nah, no, hey, you bugging bro, you wildin'. I'm not proud to be working at Dodo Deliveries again, but I'll never be taken seriously as a gangster if I can't afford food. Knives and guns aren't the scariest things on the street, low blood sugar is. The manager does some stretches on top of our van, smart. No one wants to strain a glute. I spend quite a lot of time doing deliveries. This mod is so immersive that the virtual jobs are kind of like real jobs. Well, at the docking station, the manager gives me a promotion. I think it's due to the other employees becoming incapacitated. I now have access to the warehouse and it's just so nice to be working a job that isn't YouTube related. So I can imagine telling my parents and them being proud. I mean, who needs a life of crime and danger when you can get people's postage to them with haste? We figure we've earned a break and this new water park has just recently been installed. I use the term water park loosely, but I decide to send it off the diving board despite being told that only 1 out of 10 people survive. This dive is metaphorical. You see, I didn't take the slide down like my partner, who was actually incredibly nice. I took the leap of faith. We grind like crazy, and then when finishing our job, the regional manager roasts us. Just so you know, uh, Liam was not supposed to give you a temp job. Can I ask you a, can I ask you a question? Um... Sure. So kill one, bang one, marry one. Hitler, okay. Osama bin Laden, me. No comment. It's kind of hurtful that I didn't get chosen as the marry or at least the bang option, but we now have $5,000. Our days of malnutrition are finally over. I pay the $1,000 maintenance fee on my truck, but in the car park, there's a gaggle of about a dozen women. A Karthik Manuel has three weaknesses. A glass of water, the bubonic plague, and a dump truck. I decide to shoot my shot as I still have the courageous dream of finding myself a sugar mama. She wants to take her car as mine isn't classy enough. This is the second time today I've had my feelings hurt. It becomes immediately apparent that this is less of a date and more just me helping her run some errands. I figure if she's clothes shopping, I might as well reinvent my whole image as well. Like the video if you'd hit Karthik up for a good time. You're gonna wear those shoes? These are my grand. Okay. These are my grandfather's slides. He fought in World War II in these slides, you know. We head back to the water park as I was going to encourage my date to jump off the diving board. This way, she'd either die and we could all share a cheap laugh, or she'd survive and I'd know she was worthy of my time. I head inside and this woman straight up starts screeching at me. Okay. <laughs> Dinosaur screech. Then my date rolls in and she's not a happy little camper. I decide to pour a little petrol on the fire. Kai uh, can you give me your phone number so I can ring you one of these days? Yeah, sure. Oh. Uh, 628. Okay. Let's do this in a more formal setting. Oh, oh shit! Get the hoof off of me, bitch. <laughs> 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 Worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a pretty awkward drive, but the date just kept getting progressively worse. Her car needed petrol, and so being the gentleman and scholar that I am, I offered to fill it up. I proceed to accidentally put diesel in and fry her engine. So here we are, running through the streets, trying to make it to this concert. I switch to first person as it makes you run faster, and then out of nowhere, she just gets cleaned up by a police car and a high-speed chase. Just absolutely laid out, and the cop was not phased. He'll just hit the car wash on the way back to the station, I guess. I call the ambulance and he professionally drags Slippy across the footpath and takes the last to hospital. On the positive side, I got to ride in the ambulance and save a cab fare, so silver lining. Another silver lining is that the cleaner won't have to clean the floors today as the paramedic is still using my date's bloody corpse as a mop. Doctor, could I please have a quick word? Okay ma'am, I'm gonna leave you here dying on the bed. I think think we gotta pull the plug, honestly. I don't think there's any saving her. Oh my god. We check her out of hospital and she limps her way to the concert and it feels like a true miracle. There's a guy singing live and he actually kind of slaps. I text one of the girls from the cafe and say I want to kiss behind the red truck. There's fireworks going off, but due to the large amount of players in the area, the game glitches and their faces morph even better. I secure the hug and then prepare to leave. Never say goodbye to your date, just quietly exit and leave them wanting more. Well, my cherry has been passed. Wait, you're not a virgin? 
No, I am. Hello. It's time to customize my truck. On the way, I get an overdue medical checkup and also fill my cabin with the correct kind of petrol. That date may not have made us rich, but we're definitely richer in life experience. I drive over to Hayes Auto as a man is only as good as his whip and mine desperately needs some attention. I meet the owner of this fine establishment named Shano. Hey, what's going on? Oh, hey, mate, how you doing? Got a lot to get up, bro. Look at the turtleneck. You're hey, fresh. thank you, bro. I like your mullet. 1500 Juni. That's, that's so nice of your wife that she lets you drive her car, man. I didn't realize this guy was in a pretty violent gang, but fortunately the red turtleneck did its job and intimidated him. Shano shows me around his shop and even a few of his favorite drift cars. He mentions that he's quite hungry, so I figure I'll go get him some food. Now a fast food run shouldn't be too difficult, but I tried to get sideways through the red light intersection and a police officer t-boned me. The leading cause of death in No Pixel is cops on civilians. God, this game is realistic. With my car stuck on its roof, I have to run to Burger Shop. Okay, I'm ready. I, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, you're ready. All right, bro. Fortunately, I convinced this legend to tip my truck back over, and then I deliver Shano his meal. He was happy, and he installed a new engine on my truck and said he'd call me later as he has work. Illegal work, which is great news. I drive down to the tuna shop and get the cosmetic customization done. Did you? Do I, I just put it on the ground. Is that all right? <gasps> it's a miracle. I could always walk. My truck, Shaniqua, is slowly coming together. I feel in this city it's important to balance your criminal life with your civilian life, and so I need a new 9 till 5. I make the stunning and brave decision to become a fisherman. I head down to my local hunting store and buy a thick, girthy rod. They've got a mounted deer head on the wall that just looks ridiculous. That French pink wig clashes with the red blush. What a stupid woodland creature. Fishing is very chill. You rock up and chat to Merv, who tells you where to go. You then drive to the location and test the waters by catching 30 fish. Some would call that testing the water, and some would call it overfishing and disrupting the fragile river ecosystem. Merv then pays you, and you can even sell your excess exotic fish to this guy who pays you in dirty money. The underground fresh fish trade makes the narco world look like a talcum powder factory. I use some of my cash to buy a gold chain, as it's in poor taste to wear a turtleneck without one. Then it was back to the grind. I fished a lot. So much that I was invited to a fishing tournament. This taxi driver called Packer guided me through everything. He was genuinely so wholesome. Although I did question a couple of times if taxi driving really was his calling. So we cast out and fished for about seven real life hours. Nah, it was more like two, but I won third place, making a cool $4,000 in prize money. Packer won. Congratulations, man. Yeah. That's massive. I was like, no way, wait, what is this email? Wait, first. You absolute yeah. beast. We're now sitting at $9,000, and that's after several thousand spent modifying Shaniqua. I don't even have time to sell my fresh fish, as Shano calls and says he needs me right away. The one drawback to this truck is even with the engine upgrade, it's about as fast as an Atlantic bluefin tuna, 43 miles per hour. At least Shano likes it. Well, this. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, my God, bro. You know His I mean? pants are already tight, but you're making them tighter. I'm also trying to make sure the various gangs realize that Big Papa Karthik runs these blocks now. Bro, I'm coming in oh, your window man. while you're sleeping, nah, opening nah, the freezer, nah, nah. taking out your frozen meals that you prepared, and leaving them in the sink so when you wake up, they're all ruined. All completely inedible. Blood. What kind of menace to society are you sending out here? <laughs> I hop on the back of Shano's sports bike and tenderly hold his waist. My man must have really enjoyed the food I bought him as he decides to give me a crash course in being a criminal. First he gives me some cryptocurrency which I use to buy a VPN. We then go all the way out to a trailer park in the desert so I can get a phone dongle. Unfortunately, we ran into some classic organized crime problems. Are your pockets full? I've got too much fish in my pockets, man. You want some fish? Bro, Throw your fish I didn't- the ground. I'll, give you, I'll give you money for your fish. Dude, I'm not going to waste perfectly good fish. Shano says to throw the fish on the ground, but I refuse to waste perfectly good seafood, and so we take a small detour. The hustle never sleeps. He gives me a quick tour of his mansion, and my new friend isn't exactly broke. My man's got an absolute pad, although I can't say I'm on board with the lime green walls. This pool area gives me Shrock's- Shrock? I was trying to say Shrek. And I said, shrug. Anyway. This is a sneak peek at what we can become, and it's motivating. We could have a mansion and a slow cooker in our very own master bedroom one day. In the short term, I'd settle for a quaint townhouse by the beach with ocean views and a butler. Shano and I head back to Hayes and get ready for the big job. We're about to steal some A-class cars. First on the list is a Mercedes AMG. I meet the lads and they're great, but one of them isn't responding to us because he's eating in real life. 
my man needs to immerse himself a bit more by only eating when his character eats. They've already organized the burner cars and so we head to the car park. Shano gives me a pistol and says to cover him. I couldn't be more ready. All right, everyone ready? Carthy, you got bullets? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have bullets, but I'll just point it at them and act scary. What the f <laughs> As soon as they start hacking the tracker, the police are notified and hostile NPCs swarm the area. There's some garbage men real players emptying bins close by, but other than that, the coast is clear. You've got to respect the garbage men aren't letting a few armed gunmen stopping them from keeping the streets clean. Things begin to escalate and bullets fly. I did nothing, but I made sure to fire regularly so the lads would think I was contributing. I've been a console soldier since I was a kid, but obviously I have to play this on PC. I'm still training my mouse and keyboard skills, but what I lack in combat technique, I make up for with fresh fish for the boys. Eight combos an hour just to stay upright. Oh well, yeah, I've brought lunch right. for you, brother. I'm like there two combos a day. I'm good. Just on the ground. Just oh, I'm good, man. I'm deep, deep. I'm good, bro. Deep sea salmon. Raw. Oh, I'll have an ore in it. <laughs> I might be getting ahead of myself, but Karthik is genuinely starting to look a little badass. We kept stealing cars as the police response times were very slow due to them regularly having to stop and scrub the blood and guts off their hoods from all the pedestrians they hit. I even shot my first person, which was a big milestone. Gandhi once said, Give a man a fish and he eats for a day, but give a man a gun and he kills people and takes their fish. Karthik Manuel knows how to fish and has a gun, so we're chilling. I say goodbye to the lads and then head home. It's been a good day. We made $10,000, our whip is looking clean, we bought a new outfit and third place in a fishing contest and we met a little cutie. Of course I'm referring to Shano. Next video I really want to get a new place to live. I'm also going to start posting more on Instagram and Twitter so please follow me there so you don't miss photos like this. Me and my girlfriend's back. I was trapped in Kmart, it was horrible. Or this photo of me and the lads having a pool party. That was much better than the Kmart incident. If you enjoyed this, hit like. I love you.